Current status. If you would look at me right now, you would say like, no, there's nothing wrong with you, right? I mean, you look fine. Yeah. From the side, this is the way I stand. Normally, exaggerated, I would stand like this. You see that my midsection is a little bit bloated. So this is how I stand comfortably. You can see that it's a little angled. And I don't know if you can actually see it on camera, but right here, those two muscles are like very um, expanded from a lot of things, <laughs> pain basically. So I've been basically living in Gymshark and loungewear like the entire day. This is basically what I wear all day in that, inside the house. Um, for the details and such, I will put that in the description box if you would like to know. Full outfit is from Gymshark, but yeah, in general, I just wear leggings. I wear sports bras the entire freaking day. Jeans and such are not a thing anymore, um, but outfits like these are the only ones I just want to wear because everything hurts. Let's get a blanket. It's story time. It was a gloomy night in Amsterdam. I'm just kidding. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about my personal experience with herniated discs and how it affects and totally messes up my life, basically. I did put my laptop here next to me because I wrote out what I wanted to tell you guys because it's a lot of information and I tend to ramble. So sometimes you might see me like <laughs> look over to my computer, then you know why. First time I experienced back pain was all the way back in 2012. Now, it's crazy to think that that has been over 10 years ago. And it all comes down to one thing, being a police officer. I will never forget how my coach used to say to me in Dutch way back, Hennos, ga nou rechts zitten op die stoel en niet zo achteroverleunen in die auto. I was sitting on one butt cheek the entire time, just like I am right now, but then in a police car. So I was like sitting like this, driving with one hand, <laughs> hanging back. And that must have looked so strange for people driving by. Like, that's the weirdest thing ever. Now you might be wondering instantly, like what in the world do those two things have to do with each other, a police officer and a herniated disc. But that is where it all started for me. And it is all because of one thing. And that was the police duty belt. Now, I've joined the police force when I was 17 years old. Um, that was a long time back. It was my absolute dream job and I never wanted anything else. I was very happy and very sad in that place at the same time most of the time, but that's another story. So little did I know that my hips and my legs and everything would be so messed up after working there for six years. Obviously it's never intentional, but I think you can imagine, especially as a woman, where you already like walk different than a guy, like your hips swing more to the side. It's just female autonomy, like that's just very normal. But you can imagine that if you put a belt on that, on your hip bones from sometimes six to 10 kilos every freaking day for hours, that it does something to your spine. On some events, we would have to work for like 12 to 15 hour shifts. This was very rare, but it would happen for instance with the coronation of our king in Amsterdam, uh, the Netherlands, where we would have to stand for 12 hours straight. I did not have a break whatsoever. We went to the bathroom once and that's it. So it was already very uncomfortable. And I remember, I will never forget that. It was a very hot day. The coronation of the king was like the thing. And my hips were hurting and hurting from that goddamn belt the entire time. Basically what happened, um, we finished the shift. Everything went smoothly, everything was fine. It was a whole party, work day kind of thing, very fun. I came back to my locker. I took off my pants and my belt and I saw like that the full like skin, the size of like a, I think a plum on the front of my hips on both bones was just stripped off. And that was basically just because of the friction the belt and my clothing created against my skin the entire time. And also because you waggle a little bit more as a woman, that thing was like so painful. <laughs> I never understood why the Dutch police never used like holsters on their legs or maybe on their chest or something. But anyways, that was like the main cause of my problem and it all started there. But I was a stubborn teenager and it did not really hold me back from starting my fitness journey because that was the time I started fitnessing and trying out things here and there with pain all the time. It came up with flares, it went down again, and it came back. Like, that's just how my days went and weeks went. Sometimes I would not have any trouble for weeks. 
and it will be coming back again. Now, I was busy with my fitness journey the entire time and I felt pain the entire time. So I started transforming myself. I was so motivated to do that and very happy to do it. But at the same time, my upper body was becoming ginormous in my head, which it wasn't. But my upper body was growing so fast and my lower body was very... Um, left behind because I basically could not do heavy weights. Um, I had a glute imbalance. I had a leg imbalance in muscle mass because my left leg did not have any issues and my right leg was always affected by the hernia. I've had days where I woke up and I literally stood like this. It was freaking crazy. Or sometimes I would cry of the pain. Sometimes I would have to do a massive stretching session to even get myself to be able to stand up straight. Most of the time after a very heavy training, workout session, whatever it was, intense use of my back, which you basically do almost every day, um, my whole midsection would like suck itself full with fluid because obviously what your body does is if there's something going on on the inside which can cause trouble, um, your body wants to protect itself. So what it does, it, it basically fills it up with I think it's water or whatever kind of fluid it is um, to protect everything, which is logical. It's a good reaction. But for me, it was horrible because I had so many photo shoots. I had so many things to record, content and such. And it might sound very um, superficial, but that is what my job was and is. Um, obviously, I, I grew into a different mindset, but back then it was literally you have to look as good as possible all the entire time. And if I could not do that, I could not do my job. So it was working against me in every single way. And for me, the job was the first thing that annoyed me the most. The second thing was the pain because I was very young and I was like, let's just go through this. I can handle this. It's fine. <laughs> now, the pain you basically feel is like very kind of electric pain. It shoots from my lower back all the way down to my legs, my glutes, my quads mainly my knees are whew, sometimes in excruciating pain because like the bulging disc is just poking into your bone marrow and all your nerves arrive there to sort of speak to give out all the information through your whole body and to your brain obviously so it's very logical that it hurts so much so i have been trying so many things the entire time like i've had i think six to eight different physiotherapists always telling me like nos you need to train your core more nos you're doing too much nos you're not doing enough you need to walk more you need to stop training with weights you need to train with weights like there's so many things that has been said to me um, I have tried chiropractors and sometimes up until I found a really good one um, they would crack my body and it would really give a relief but the next day will be back so it was never a instant solution i even bought different mattresses i bought different pillows because at a certain point i did not know for years that it was a herniated disc no one told me that no one told me like yo go make an mri scan or something so for me i was like okay i'm just gonna put this shit aside and just continue because no one can give me an answer I'm not gonna find it out myself. It will just go away someday. Little did I know that 10 years later, um, it would still be there and it would affect me this much. I also tried deep tissue massages, stretching routines, different kind of workouts, um, holistic healing. Like I said, different pillows, mattresses and everything. I even got a um, shot of steroids in my back for a TV show actually. That was back in 2019. I did a Dancing with the Stars kind of thing. Uh, in the Netherlands it's called Dance, Dance, Dance. And they told me like, yo, do you have any like injuries that you know of? Because we need to know obviously in case something happens on the show. It was like a six month show. So it was definitely something that um, needed to be discussed. So I was like, well, I have pain in my back sometimes. And they asked me like, how, ma how many years did you have this now? And I was like, a couple of years. And they looked at me and they said like, no, how many years do you have this now? And I said, okay, at least I think something of six to seven years. Uh, so they said, okay, listen up. If you want to join up in this TV program, uh, we really want you to make an MRI scan because we need to know. And I was like, oh, okay, sure, that's fine. And that was the first time, first time that someone asked me to make an MRI scan because they could not see from the outside what my body had and what I was going through. 
and for me it was like strange coming it from that place so in order for me to do the show it was months and months of training i needed to do the mri scan went to the mri scan and i had a sports physician there she came back with the results and she asked me like girl how do you not feel pain it's almost impossible so i said no i feel pain but it's it's on a lower level i think because i can do my daily things and i just have my ups and downs but it will be fine um, and she said to me like look this is your mri scan as of now you have two bulging discs now that doesn't need to be a problem but with you one of them is sticking so far into your bone marrow that it should be causing a lot of pain but because i've always pushed through with my fitness journey by training my muscles by making myself stronger um, she said that it actually helped me to not get rid of the pain but more balance my body out so that i didn't have excruciating pain and i could just continue my life and i thought wow like it is so amazing to see how your body can adapt to things and just work around it to be able to still do whatever you want it's crazy so now that we knew that they asked me like nos do you want to continue and i was like hell yes i'm not just starting this to quit halfway or something so i really want to continue the show i wanted to do it now we have been uh doing the whole show literally until the finale and we became second very proud of that still we um raised fifty thousand euros for cancer in the netherlands it's like a um good cause that we danced for which was really dope so it was really all in all an amazing experience but it also gained me a lot of knowledge about my own body i remember doing this dance one day and out of nowhere i remember that we've been training for hours and in the last hour or so all of a sudden my right leg became numb and while dancing it just totally blocked it just lost its full um, feeling it lost its strength everything so i fell on the ground and i was so ashamed but oh well and i was like oh no it's okay and this and that but actually what i was been doing was making my hernia and my symptoms worse because i was overstepping my boundaries in the way of using my body so um at that point i was like oh my god i really want to do something with this because i cannot have my limbs out of nowhere just stop working so for over a couple of years, I have been searching for a surgery that could cover um, getting my hernia out. But the thing is in Netherlands that they still use a very old technique where they have to go right through your giant back muscle. You have those two big back muscles that you can see, right? They need to cut that through, open it up and go deeper and deeper and deeper until they reach your hernia. With everything I was doing, I was always the face of something, so I could not do a surgery sooner until a few weeks ago. So at this point, um, a few weeks back, I um, went to my chiropractor again, and I think that he did not necessarily do something wrong, but um, my hernia uh, became so agitated and so irritated mostly that it flared up so much that I could literally stand and cry. And up until now, like um, the last five weeks have been terrible. I have been taking all kinds of medication that doesn't help, like the strongest things. Um, I don't wanna go any further with medication because I know that I will be knocked out all day. I have my flare ups throughout the day and I only can lay down straight on the couch. I cannot walk for too long. I cannot sit for too long. So when I sit in a chair, just like now, I always sit on one butt cheek and I'm basically like this in the chair so that I just manage my pain. I'm very stubborn when it comes to these kinds of things. Like if I really have something that is like threatening my life, I would do something with it instantly. But because it is a bulging disc and because people have been telling me for years, like, oh no, it's okay. It will go away on its own. I can put it back, do this, do that. It will resolve itself. Um, I always seen it as that, so I never thought I needed a solution for it until I couldn't do anything anymore, and that is today. So what I do now mainly is just I walk around in the house, I try to create content just like this, it keeps me busy, um, and just do what I can. I have been searching for five weeks because from the first day on that I felt so bad, um, I thought I really need to find someone, and they have a new technique right now in surgery which is less invasive and i was so freaking happy with that so 
I have been searching, 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 and the first thing I found was that the waiting times are six months or longer. And some of them were eight weeks, but even eight weeks for the pain that I feel and felt was too long. So the Netherlands wasn't an option anymore. And I will tell you in the next video what I am going to do and what is going to be the plan. For some reason, you always have the idea that you're like the healthiest person alive. I mean, literally health and fitness and taking care of myself is my job. So in a way, I'm always busy with it. Um, but this has nothing to do with that. And this is something that's out of my hands. So if you're out there with the same excruciating pain sometimes, nerve pain, I feel you, honestly. And this is something that you need to experience yourself in order to really understand it. But I basically lay on a couch the whole day flat. I walk a little, lay on the couch again. I walk a little, lay on the couch again. We went to the movies once because they had like seats that you could... Um, Put backwards so that was really cool i could go to the movies but basically i went from a hundred to a zero in a day i just want to share my experience with everyone on here so you can see what's going on but maybe also like get a little bit of courage out of it just to speak up for yourself because there's always something either the insurance doesn't cover it or this or that there's always ways around it but if you don't speak up for yourself your doctors will never actually help you at least that's my experience I really hope you guys have different experience, obviously. Um, but I have been like calling with insurance companies, calling with doctors, calling with hospitals, and it's terrible. So I just want to share what I'm going to do the next couple of weeks. I will take you with me on surgeries, doctor appointments, etc., and especially my fitness journey, because that is the one thing that you guys follow me for, obviously, and something that has strengthened me over time, which basically saved me from a lot of pain, but also um, inspires me to just be a better person every single day, even though I might have an injury. So social media, in a way for me, is really an outlet to reach out, to talk, to just be myself, um, yeah, I basically keep myself busy. That sounds very sad. So please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Um, it's going to be like a whole mini series and I cannot wait to show you everything because at this point I'm like, cut me open. Let's go, please. But yeah, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have like the same things or whatever and you want to share your story, please drop a comment down below. And I will see you girls and guys in the next video.